What if I told you that right now someone could be watching you through your own security cameras, listening to your conversations through your smart speaker, even unlocking your front door from thousands of miles away? Three days ago, I became that someone. I hacked into my own smart home for 24 hours straight using nothing but free tools and basic knowledge. What I discovered will change how you think about every connected device in your house forever. This isn't clickbait, this is a wake-up call. Hey everyone, welcome back to One Tech Nation. This channel is where we expose the truth about cybersecurity and AI that tech companies don't want you to know. If you have a Ring doorbell, Alexa, Google Nest, smart locks, or even a connected TV, this video could save you from becoming the next victim. Because what happened in my house over the next 24 hours, it's probably happening in yours right now. But first, let me ask you something. How many smart devices do you think the average home has? Sib 15, Rye 25, and here's the terrifying part. Most people can't even name half of them. Let me show you my setup. My house is basically a smart home showcase. I've got ring cameras, Nest thermostats, Philips Hue lights, Amazon Echo devices, smart locks, even a refrigerator that orders groceries automatically. I thought I was living in the future. Turns out I was living in a hacker's paradise. Here's what I did. I created a completely separate attacker profile, used only open source hacking tools available to anyone, and followed the exact methods real cyber criminals use. No advanced programming, no expensive equipment, just a laptop, free software, and the same curiosity that drives every hacker. The rules were simple, 24 hours to see how deep I could get into my own digital life. I documented everything, every vulnerability, every breach, every moment my jaw hit the floor. Hour 1, the embarrassing truth. The first breakthrough happened in under 10 minutes and it was embarrassing. My $300 security camera system, the one supposed to protect my home, still had the default password, admin slash admin. That's it. I'm literally a cybersecurity expert and I made the most rookie mistake possible. Within minutes, I was watching myself from my own cameras, from my phone, in real time. I could pan, zoom, even speak through the two-way audio. If I were a real attacker, I'd now know when you leave, when you come home, your daily routines, even what you look like. But it gets worse. Hour 3. The invisible invasion. I used a tool called a showdown. Think of it as Google for hackers. It scans the entire internet for connected devices and shows you exactly what's exposed. I searched my own public IP address. The results were terrifying. My smart lighting system appeared in the search results. Not just the fact that I had smart lights, the actual control panel. Anyone could have turned my lights on and off, changed colors, even created strobe effects. Imagine coming home to that. Why? Because I hadn't updated the firmware in over a year. One simple software update would have prevented this. But like 67% of smart home users, I just forgot. Hour 6. When your voice becomes a weapon. This next part gave me chill. I recorded myself giving voice commands to my Alexa. Alexa, unlock the front door. Alexa, order dog food. Alexa, set thermostat to 85 degrees. Then I left my house and played these recordings through a Bluetooth speaker near my window. From outside, every single command worked. The smart lock disengaged. Amazon confirmed a dog food order, which I immediately canceled. My thermostat cranked up to 85 degrees, all because Alexa couldn't tell the difference between my live voice and a recording. This technique is called voice spoofing, and it's easier than you think. No special software, no voice cloning AI, just a smartphone recording and a $20 speaker. Hour 12, the router revelation. Remember when you first set up your Wi-Fi router? Did you change the admin password? Be honest, I didn't. Using the default credentials, Printed on the router itself, I logged into my own network's control panel. Suddenly, I had a bird's eye view of everything. Every device, every connection, every bit of data flowing through my home. I could see which devices were talking to, which servers, passwords sent over, unencrypted connections, and with usage patterns that revealed daily routines. Devices I'd completely forgotten about. And that last point, that's where things got really creepy. The forgotten devices buried in my device list were two old smart plugs I'd set up years ago and forgotten about. They were still connected, still accessible, and running firmware from 2019. Basically, digital fossils with massive security holes. These forgotten devices are what hackers call the low-hanging fruit. They're often the entry point for entire network compromises. Hour 18, the international mystery. Here's where this experiment took a dark turn. I started monitoring network traffic, basically watching which websites and servers my devices were contacting. Most of it was normal weather updates, software checks, cloud backups. But then I noticed something strange. My smart coffee maker, yes, my coffee maker, was sending data to a server 
in Eastern Europe every few minutes, even when it was turned off. Why would a coffee maker need to talk to Russia? What data could it possibly be sending? I still don't have a good answer. Hour 24, the privacy nightmare. The final discovery was the most personal violation. I audited every app permission on my phone connected to smart home services. One app seemingly innocent air quality monitor had been collecting my location data every 30 seconds for the past eight months. It knew everywhere I went, how long I stayed, my most frequent location, my daily pattern, even my sleep schedule based on when my phone stopped moving. All for an app that was supposed to tell me about air pollution. The seven-step smart home security protocol. After 24 hours of horrifying discoveries, I spent the next day implementing what I call the smart home security protocol. Here's exactly what you need to do. Step 1. Password purge. Change every default password. Yes, every single one. Your router, cameras, smart hubs, even that smart plug in your garage. Use a password manager if you have to, but do it today. Step 2. The firmware fast track. Set up automatic updates wherever possible. For devices that don't support auto updates, set a monthly calendar reminder. I use the first Saturday of every month. Step 3. The two-factor shield. Enable two-factor authentication on every account that supports especially your smart home hub accounts google amazon apple samsung step four the network segregation this is crucial create a separate iot network for all your smart devices keep them isolated from your main computers and phone most modern routers support this look for guest network settings step five the feature audit disable features you don't use voice purchasing on alexa turn it off remote access on security cameras only if you absolutely need it every enabled feature is a potential attack vector step six the monitoring setup install network monitoring tool i recommend fing for beginners it shows you every device on your network and alerts you to new connections for advanced users high hole can block malicious traffic entirely step seven the regular audit monthly device audits check what's connected what's updated what's been forgotten set a recurring reminder the industry's dirty secret here's what the smart home industry doesn't want you to know security is expensive and convenience sells better than protection most companies ship devices with minimal security because consumers don't know to ask for it. but here's the thing you don't have to be a cyber security expert to protect yourself you just need to care enough to spend 30 minutes making these changes the real cost of convenience smart homes aren't inherently dangerous but they require the same attention as any other valuable possession you lock your car you lock your house you need to secure your network because when hackers target smart homes they're not after your devices they're after your data your privacy your sense of security in your own home if this video opened your eyes like it did mine here's what i need you to do first pick one device in your home right now and check if it still has default credentials just one i guarantee you'll find something that needs fixing second if this video helped you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell we're building a community of people who refuse to be digital victims third, drop a comment below what's the most surprising smart device you found on your network i read every comment and your stories help other viewers stay secure and finally share this video not for views but because Someone in your life needs to see this. Maybe it's your parents with their new smart TV or your friend who just got a ring doorbell. Hacking my own smart home was one of the most eye-opening experiments I've ever done. I didn't do it to scare you. I did it to arm you with knowledge. Your smart home can be convenient and secure, but only if you take control before someone else does. Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and stay secure. This is One Tech Nation, and I'll see you in the next video.